Greetings and blessings, blessings and greetings, blessed souls. This is Don Zosigumen live from Kessa Crown Heights. It is the sixth day of ER, ER Aleph Yud Yud Resh, which is an acronym which we of Israel know stands for Ani Havaya Rofecha. The Most High declares, I am your healer, I shall heal you. And very soon, hopefully speedily in our days, but Darchinom Darchi Shalom in a pleasant and peaceful way, the whole entire human race shall sell healings through the knowledge of the Most High through the Eternal Torah. This is part four. Uh, me gleaning from, I think the, the schools to glean from the teachings of a direct descendant of King David and King Salman, the Lubavitcher Rebbe, teaching he delivered over 50 years ago now. And the beginning of this teaching was called Hamaskilim Yazir Kazor Harakia Matziki Harabim Tochokalim Lolam Ba'ed. And the wise shall shine like the radiance of the firmament, and those and those who, who will instruct, teach righteousness to the masses will be like the stars of heaven forever and ever. So the question again to be asked, rhetorically speaking, is or are the teachings of Torah not just for the past and for the present and the future? We know the answer. Some people struggle with the answer. So if you're struggling with the answer, blessed souls, look deep within yourself and commune with the Most High. Are these teachings truly as they are being promoted to be, to be eternal instructions, as transmitted into our generation, the generation of redemption? As the Rebbe was very... Uh, overt about to instruct not only the nation of Israel but also all the blessed children of Noah so one of the things that this teaching brings out blessed souls is based on the verse another prophecy which is to be found in Isaiah chapter 52 verse 13 where it's written Hine and behold, my servant will be exalted and high, very high, and he will be successful in his endeavors. And that's in the prop Isaiah chapter 52, verse 13. So the Rebbe elucidated that there are two general explanations of who is this servant who will be successful in his endeavors, or her endeavors, we can say as well. Is this an individual, or is this referring to a mass level of awareness? Well, the truth is that's what it's referring to, blessed souls, as the Rebbe explained. But of course, in a specific way, site-specific way, we're talking about Mashiach, the Messiah. But also, the sages of Israel also understood this verse to referring to the Koya Kol Yisrael. This is referring to all the members of the nation of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel. Because Mashiach is the epicenter of the nation of Israel. Mashiach shall be the lave of Israel, the heart of Israel. Mashiach shall be the moyach, the mind of Israel. Mashiach shall be the neshama, the soul of Israel. But since he'll be connecting to us through the inner di dimensions of Torah, as well as the revealed dimensions in Torah, although primarily the inner dimensions, Panimut Torah Chasidut, Kabbalah, whatever you want to call it, but the that which most of the world considers to be the secrets of Torah, Razin Daraisa, that we will be imbued with these virtues, that we will ascend in our awareness as the Mashiach ascends into his primary role to be instructor for the nation of Israel. They also brought down an axiom which we should understood and internalize very well, blessed souls, according to the Sefer Azara, which we've talked about on several occasions already, which is the Book of Revelations, the Book of Light, the Book of Illumination, written by Shimon Bar Yochai, or actually taught by Shimon Bar Yochai, written down by his students, that there is an axiom which all of us should come to remember and never forget. Kol ham shachot hen Torah that all elicitations into the creation of divine energy take place 
through Torah instruction and in a more site-specific way through the mitzvot we do. With that being said, blessed souls, well, hopefully we'll pick up at another time. I'd like to give another example of another mosque, another wise one, one of the prophets of Israel, who some of us are aware of, some of us are not aware of. But he also, he was blessed and anointed. This is the prophet Micah, Micha, who was able to condense the 613 commandments, mitzvot, not nullify them, but condense them into three primary axioms of which the fulfillment of all the other mitzvot should revolve around. So to speak, the electron, the proton, and the neutrons, the nucleus of Torah observance and Torah learning and Torah sharing. He taught the following three things. And of course, this is prophecy. This is what he was instructed by the Most High to instruct Israel, and not just of Israel of those days, Israel and these days, and also for the blessed children of Noah. What are the three axioms as per prophecy? One, only to do justice. Two, to love kindness. Three, to walk humbly with your Creator. You should see the book of Micah, chapter 6, verse 8. Sefer Hamicha, Book of Micha, Perik Vav Kot Posik Ches. So, blessed souls, this is Dunzel Sir Goodman, wishing everyone a blessed day. And remember, the only thing holding us back is our own fears and our own wrongful perceptions of ourselves that we can't have a viable, tangible, and internalized relationship with the Most High because we can. It's a matter of just becoming of aware that we need to increase our awareness just as when we are aware that we are hungry, we eat food and we drink drink. If we need to inhale, we take another inhalation, say we're swimming or running or we stop in our tracks and realize perhaps we're running too quickly. Maybe we have to slow down. So slow down a little bit certain times of the day, when you can, when you can afford to, because you can't afford not to, blessed souls, to commune with your heart, to commune with the Most High, and to realize the Torah of Israel, not because it's of Israel, it's because there were certain people thousands of years ago who were charged with the duty of being or le'umim, being a light for the nations, and that light is only through the or of Torah, the light of divine instruction, which is here to guide the world, the darchi noam, in a pleasant way, darchi shalom, in a peaceful way, and not as some Amalek type attitudes come along, or Babylonian or modern own attitudes come along and extract a verse here and there in English and then distort the teachings, and saying, oh, how barbaric these teachings are. Well, those people, unfortunately, are not among the Maskilim, but among the Kasilim, the fools of creation, who need to realize they should learn a little bit more and think a little bit more before they speak their minds publicly, whether through video or postings. Sababa rejoice, Ahave Chad, one love, Gorel Chad, one destiny, Ukulano. All of us, but often Nitzchi, in an eternal way.